Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the special weather briefing from the National Weather Service in Spokane, Washington. So as you heard, winter is coming. Uh, we're going to be seeing a, system, a series of weather systems that are going to be impacting the inland northwest over the next several days. Over, on my slide right now, I show an overview of a timeline that we're going to be expecting the most impacts. The first one will be starting tomorrow with a round of snow. It will be arriving Friday morning with some light snow around morning commute time. Things will be picking up Friday afternoon into Friday night with some rounds of heavy snow. Things will be winding down on Saturday, but we could see some blowing snow from some gusty westerly winds. We'll see another round of snow on Sunday, bringing moderate to heavy amounts. Uh, that snow will be winding down on Monday and then we'll be dealing with an Arctic front coming down from the north, bringing us some gusty north winds and another chance of blowing snow. Then by Tuesday into Wednesday, we'll see some colder temperatures, some of the coldest temperatures of the season. And then as we get to the latter half of next week, our temperatures will be moderating and we'll see lighter amounts of snow. Our next image will show the impacts across our region. We're highlighting the areas that we're going to see the major impacts. So that would be from the Cascades across the northern mountains, North Idaho, and then from Spokane, Quarter Lane to the Palouse. And these would be areas that we'll be expecting impacts from the snow, the wind, and the cold. And these impact definitions are highlighted with the minor impacts used for localized events, moderate being some widespread advisory to warning levels, and those major impacts are those that we don't see very often, maybe one or two times a season, and, and that's why we are highlighting this today. Here is an overview by different communities across our region that discusses the different impacts from day to day. Um, the different communities include Bonners Ferry and Sandpoint, Spokane Coeur d'Alene, Pullman and Moscow, Clarkston, Lewiston, Republic and Colville, down to Omac, and the Columbia Basin from Ritzville to Moses Lake, and then the Wenatchee area to Leavenworth. And you can take a look at the different impacts and the timelines that we are experiencing through the next several days. So here is the 24-hour snow forecast for Friday. And if you saw the slides we sent out yesterday, there were some subtle changes with this snow forecast. The main ones were a slight decrease of snow amounts from Omac to Wilbur to Spokane and to Lewiston. So a slightly less snow across that area. We've also seen an increase of snow amounts around the Sandpoint area and the surrounding mountains. And like I said, we'll see that snow starting Friday morning, very light, and then increase through the day. Likewise, we're going to be seeing our temperatures warming into the low 30s, so and across the basin into the middle 30s, which is why we're not going to be seeing as much snow from Wenatchee to Moses Lake to Lewiston. The next map shows us the, our confidence for at least 90% of this snow to fall. So we're expecting at least this much snow to fall in that 24 hour period. So it really isn't that much of a change with our, our official forecast that we're seeing. But it also highlights the most snow we're going to be expecting is across the mountains of Northeast Washington, around Sandpoint, and in North Idaho along with the Cascade Crest. As that system pulls away on Friday, we're going to be seeing some, some chances of snow, not as much, but an increase of westerly winds across Whitman, Lataw, Benoit counties, and down across the Camas Prairie. And whatever snow is on the ground, we could see some blowing and drifting of this snow. The next system 
is expected to arrive on Sunday with another round of moderate to heavy snow. Um, these snow amounts look a little less than we are going to be expecting on Friday, uh, but still highlighting the Cascade Crest and also North Idaho. So North Idaho, you're going to get another round of heavy snow with that and uh, temperatures are gonna be a little cooler. So we're gonna see some light accumulations from Wenatchee, Moses Lake, down to Lewiston. As that system pulls away Sunday night into Monday, we're gonna see the northerly winds pick up as the Arctic boundary moves down from Canada. So we're gonna see some gusty north winds picking up in the Okanagan Valley into the Western Basin. And also over North Idaho, the Purcell Trench from Sand Point to Coeur d'Alene and then into Spokane area. So we're going to see the, the gusty winds. This could lead to some localized blowing and drifting snow and also the bitter cold wind chills because that's when the colder air is going to be moving into the area. And we're going to be seeing unseasonably cold temperatures with highs being in the single digits to low teens. And overnight lows in the single digits below zero across much of the area. And this could lead to a threat to livestock and pets kept outdoors. The coldest temperatures will be across the northern valleys, the northern mountains, and the northern basin. So with our temperature forecast, we have lots of different model solutions that are indicating the range of possibilities. Uh, we have some models that are showing that we're going to be keeping uh, some clouds and chances of snow through the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday period for Spokane. And that is giving us um, maybe our warmer type of temperatures as we can see in this graph for Spokane. Um, the coldest traces or the models that we're seeing are the models that are indicating that Arctic front is going to sweep on through the region and clear out our skies and allow the temperatures to just plummet. What we are uh, forecasting is the most likely line, that black line, that is showing the single digits to below zero from Tuesday into Wednesday, and uh, with Wednesday being the coldest morning. And just how cold we're gonna be seeing covers pretty much our entire area. We can see in these graphs for different locations in our region, we are experiencing right now normal temperatures for early to mid-January with our highs rising above freezing and then cooling below freezing. But once we get into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, that's when that cold air arrives and we're gonna see those temperatures, especially in the overnight hours, being some of the coldest of the season. And here is a map of our forecast for the lows that we're going to be seeing for Wednesday morning. That is to be our coldest morning of the week. And plenty of locations are going to be below zero across our region. So to summarize, we have a busy weekend into next week. For Friday, we'll see that snow moving with heavy snow in many locations. For Saturday, uh, their snow chances decrease, but we'll see some breezy winds with some blowing snow, especially across the Palouse region. Sunday, the next round of snow comes, especially for North Idaho. As we get into Monday, the northerly winds kick up and it gets quite windy and blustery with colder temperatures and bitter cold wind chills. Those winds ease by Tuesday, but then it turns very cold, and that continues into Wednesday. So I want to thank you for joining us for this special weather briefing. Also, keep tabs on our forecast at weather.gov slash Spokane, and we'll keep you updated on any changes. And also keep track of us on social media.